today I'm making a ham. This is going to be cured, hung, and then baked off with a beautiful honey mustard glaze. Let's rewind a few weeks and you can see how this all starts. So my butcher has prepared me a monster of a ham here. It weighs just under five kilos. This is what they call a prime roll. So essentially a pig's leg boned out and rolled. It's been tied up neatly to give it a nice shape. I'm gonna dab this dry and now I can start cracking on with the brine. There are a few different ways you could do this. You could use a dry brine, but this is a wet brine. And this is the starting process of curing the meat. This consists of salt and a whole bunch of sugar. I'm using Demerara brown sugar, but it does no harm in using any of the odds and sods you have in the cupboard. After all, this pork did put me back 40 pounds. So if I can recoup any money by not having to go back out and buying brand new bags of sugar, it's a bonus. Once I've got a decent amount of sugar in there, I'm going to add some classic botanicals like juniper berries. I just love juniper, cloves and black peppercorns. I can then use some apple juice. You could use cider additionally if you wanted to. Also some water, otherwise the salt is just going to dominate. If you're anything like me, who has humongous pots and pans lying around at home? So sometimes you just need to make do with what you have. What needs to be done now is to bring this to the boil and let all of those flavours infuse. This will take a while, so don't rush it. After this has happened, I'm going to pour into a food safe container big enough to house your ham, but not so big you need an excessive amount of curing liquid. So a bit of fork planning is necessary here. Pour this in and let it cool. Now place your rolled pork into the brine and this will sit here and cure the meat. Gear for a minimum of three days per kilo, but a maximum of four. My joint is just under five kilos, so I brine mine for a whole two weeks. You may need to do a bit of jiggery pokery in your fridge like I have done to submerge the ham in the brine for the necessary time. It can be done, it just requires a bit of thought into how you're going to do it. You'll see later on when I take this out of the fridge, I actually put weights on top of the meat to hold down in the liquid. So let this cure. I didn't even check on mine during the brine time. No word of a lie. And when time is up, pull it out and dab it all dry. You don't have to, but I'm going to hang mine for a couple of weeks to dry it out slightly and improve flavour. I use a meat hook and take it outside in my custom built meat hanger. I leave for a week or two and then it will be the next stage of the process. So this meat is going to be simmered in a pan of water for a number of hours to very gently cook the meat and keep it moist. I'm in my home kitchen and this is the biggest pan I've got. The meat isn't fully submerged but it doesn't matter as the heat will be very low and I'm going to keep rotating it so it cooks evenly. This will take anywhere from three to five hours. You have to be patient. This is meat curing after all. Now I'm going to bake it. You could have it just boiled, there's nothing wrong with that, but baking it will really make the most of this ham, I think. I'm making a honey mustard glaze, very, very simple. I'm using some hot mustard, and more of a hot Dijon style with some honey. I'll very carefully cut away the string, and now for the marinade. Mix this up and brush this on. Stud this a bit with cloves and put in a hot oven for 30 to 40 minutes. there we have it, a honey mustard ham. This has now come out of the oven, it's been baked off, it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to dive in and have a taste. 
There we go, let's dive in. Wow, that is unlike a ham I've ever had before. It's so moist and it's so tender, really. The outside of it just has this lovely glaze, this honey mustard glaze. Really, really good. I would highly recommend you give this a go from start to finish. You know, it's going to take you a few weeks, but it's really, really easy. The flavour you get from this ham is exceptional. As always, thanks ever so much for watching my channel and I will catch you in the next one.